in today's video, we're going to be painting up a bark ship from the tabletop game Blood and Plunder. Okay, so starting off with this part here, we're going to be going in with a fur brown. Now these parts here are actually metal, so you want to make sure you clean them all up uh, with either a little file or a hobby knife, just making sure you get off all the little uh, sprue edges and just little bits of flashing. And then once you've gotten all that done, you want to make sure you come in with a nice primer. I've just chosen black here. and then we can come in with our fur brown like I'm doing right here now and it's going to take a few coats uh, just because I've thinned it down just a little bit so I can get it to get into all those little recessed pieces so what of course we just want to do what we usually do which is wait for our full first layer to dry and then come in with a second layer to just cover all that up okay so we're going to be moving on to the cannons now which are also primed in black and we're going to come in with rough iron now these two again are metal as well so you want to make sure you remove any flashing that you may find on them and rough iron I think is going to be a really good color for the cannons because it's already that very dark iron color and just going over it here uh, while I primed it in black it's going to hide a lot in case I miss any spots but I'm going to be very careful to make sure I get over the whole area but if you want to another alternative could be you could just dry brush this on to give that effect but I want to really um, make those that uh, rough iron color pop so I'm making sure I get as much as I can over the whole thing Okay, so now we're moving on to the main part of the ship here, which what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using Vallejo Khaki to do this. And I'm just going to be painting the inside of the ship, so all the wood on the inside. I want a nice lighter color on the ship. I'm trying to get it as close as I can to the uh, box art we have on the ship. So we're just coming in here with light khaki. Now I have watered this down probably 50-50, so 50% paint to 50% water. And I'm just coming here with a really large brush. Now this is just a cheap uh, brush from the dollar store just so I can really get in there into those areas because I didn't have a, a paintbrush this <laughs> this size to go in here and I wanted to get a lot of area done quick so I've thinned it down so much so I can get into all these nice little uh, details it has here on all the wood as a very nice uh, wood grain in here so I want to make sure I get all that and the best way to do that is to thin down your paint and just go over it in a couple of coats now I'm just going to take a few more coats since I have primed it in black um, if you really want to get it all over there but I've done it so in the black so we can if we don't want to go too far over it we can just say it's all dark shadowing okay so now that we have the inside of the ship done what we're going to do now is we're going to come on with oak brown i'm going to be using the oak brown to be doing the outside and the inside of the ship you can just see here the parts that we haven't painted the whole uh, rest of the ship now is going to be this oak brown making sure we get a nice color now again I am doing the exact same thing I did with the khaki that we used on the inside as I watered it down 50 50 so 50 percent paint 50 percent water so I can really get into all those recesses and stuff there because I want to get a nice uh, good coverage on here because these these models have uh, a lot of detail and I, I don't want to cover that all up with paint so the best way is just again working slow really getting into those uh, recesses with the watered paint is just going to make it a little bit easier than going over with a thick paint plus since this is such a big miniature um, watering down the paint a little bit is just going to make our paint go a little bit further than if we were just to apply the paint straight to it so that's the reason why we uh, wa water down our paint slightly over these bigger miniatures and um, just trying to save a bit of time in the long run essentially Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using Strong Tone Wash from Army Painter. And we're going to be doing a wash over the, the what do you call this, the, the mast and stuff of the ship. So all, because it comes with uh, all masts and rigging and stuff in the whole set as well. And they're just uh, wooden uh, bits of, uh, what would you call it, uh, wooden bits of like dowel I guess is what you call it. Um, but they're very, very bright and I feel that uh, if I was just to leave them the, the straight wood color they uh, it would sort of stand out a little bit too much for my liking so that's why I've just come in with the wash here to just tone them down a little bit and make them look a little bit more like wood and same with all the little bits of rigging pieces and stuff on here I'm also going to be giving, covering them with a the wash I just want to dial that uh, wood color down just a little bit to make it look a little bit more realistic um, for the the paint job that we want to go for again this part's totally optional you could just leave this all out and just have the rigging the way it is 
Okay, so now coming back with the strong tone wash, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be giving a wash over the whole uh, hull of the ship. So we want to cover absolutely everything in the strong tone wash. Now, I have placed, I have diluted the wash down a little bit. So I have uh, put in just a bit of water with our wash mixer just to dial it, uh, dial it down a little bit because I want to save a little bit of wash and I don't want it on uh, so thick. I don't want it more of a, a subtle shade since we did go and have a black primer on there so we're already getting some of the uh, black popping through into our shadow so we don't need to accentuate that so much so that's why I've diluted it down a little bit and you can see just by doing that you can see all the nice detail that we have here on our uh, ship with all those awesome uh, wood uh, what's called wood texture carvings for all those planks and again don't forget to do uh, the outside and the inside of the ship just here like you can see and maybe a little bit hard to see on camera but uh, there's all this wood texture all over the whole thing like this uh, even though within in this darker color it is bringing it out quite significantly and um, it's just an awesome way to bring everything out together okay so now coming in with an ash gray what we're going to be doing with this ash gray is I'm going to be using it to be uh, dry brushing over the deck of the ship now for this I'm actually just using a cheap makeup brush to do dry brushing um, I've been told that uh, using makeup brushes to do dry brushing actually gives off a really uh, good uh, effect with the dry brush and uh, it's quite a cheap alternative way using a dry brush and it is very good for picking out all those raised details and the reason why I've gone with the ash gray here is because I want it to look more like a used boat that's been in service for a little while and when wood gets a little bit older and especially on a deck of ship somewhere that's been used a lot has heavy foot traffic they actually go a little bit more of a gray color than a brown color so that's why i've dry brushing it with a light gray rather than a light brown okay so now with a leather brown what we're going to be doing is we're going to do the same thing we just did in our last step which is just giving a dry brush over the whole thing so again i've just got my dry brush and i'm going to be doing it this time over the front of our ship um, and all the outside areas, so all the areas we've done in the dark oak brown I'm coming in with the leather brown to uh, age that up now rather than what I did on the inside since we had such a light wood and the way to go up from that was our uh, really light grey to age that wood up this time since we have such a dark wood this is why I'm coming in with a light brown on here rather than a grey as well because I want to separate those two colours out by having our grey and our brown as the highlight color and that's just going to give off a nicer differentiation there um, as well as the darker wood isn't going to uh, dry and age so drastically since it's so dark uh, into a gray so that's why I've gone with the light brown okay so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using some Vallejo gun metal and what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be picking out all the little pieces that we have here just on the back of the ship where the uh the rudder is i believe it's called <laughs> my, my boat knowledge isn't great um but yeah just making sure we want to get these nice uh big metal bandings here it's being very careful to not paint over anywhere we've done before and we want to make sure we do them on both sides and just pick them out being nice and uh, careful to avoid any of the paintwork that we've already done Okay, so coming back to our cannons now, we're going to be using that exact same gun metal, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking out the banding on here. So you can just see that these little bits just on here where there's some uh, nice sort of iron uh, metal working, I'm guessing more than iron working, uh, banding on here. So we want to make sure we cover those up there with the gun metal, just being very careful. So if you need to, grab a fine detail brush here to uh, paint all these in. Now you may need a couple of coats like you see here, mine's just a little bit thin because I'm being super careful trying not to get it over everywhere so I'm going to be coming over with a second coat and we're also going to be doing just the little parts here in the center of the wheels because uh, I'm imagining that it's going to be a long sort of iron rod in between there. So just doing that to uh, highlight up and make it not so boring with the brown. Okay so now we have all that gun metal dried up, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to come in with some known oil and we're going to be giving a wash over the entirety of the, the thing here so just making sure that we uh, give it a nice even coat now the reason why I've gone for the known oil here is that this is just a, 
a quick and easy step. Um, I'm just cutting out a step here, but by all means, if you want to go uh, a brown wash for the wood, and then our, a known oil or a black wash for the banding, uh, go right ahead. Uh, I just since these parts are so small and it's going to be on a miniature that's so big, I'm not going to worry about it too much, and I really want to get those uh, nice metallic uh, shines with the known oil and here I am just doing the exact same thing with the known oil making sure I get it on the back of the ship and the the areas that we painted on there as well and this time I'm being a little bit more careful to avoid um, getting it over the area that we've already painted over the whole ship which already has the brown wash over it so that's all going to be doing for those sections and it's just going to be a nice quick way to separate all those colors out okay so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be coming in with oak brown here on just one of these pieces of the rigging that's going to be attached to the side of the ship because I didn't feel like uh, the wash was dulling the color down enough and I think it was going to stand out just a little bit too much on my ship so that's why I'm going over and painting with the base coat that we have on our ship uh, a little hard to tell which part of the ship it is now but I'll be able to uh, you'll be able to definitely see it when we come to uh, showing the ship off so just going over again here with the color to tie those colors in a lot more okay so now what we're doing is we're coming in with vampire red and what I'm going to be doing with the vampire red is I'm just going to be painting a little top paneling of the ship here and the vampire red uh, since I'm trying to follow the uh, the paint scheme that uh, the box art has on it it has this uh, nice uh, red uh, color I guess or painted panels I guess uh, of these nice dark red color here at the top to I guess give it a bit more flavor and uh, style so I'm gonna be painting up the exact same I also think it looks quite cool so again I'm just trying to go for the what the box art has trying to follow as close as I can with the colors I have available to try and get it as close as I can to that box art and you now since you're painting up your own ship you may want to do this uh, your own color I think it's a cool way to just add in a little bit of uh, style to the ship and really make it stand out uh, rather than just being all brown now I was <laughs> gonna leave it all brown um, but just seeing that uh, bit of red splashed in there uh, really made it look awesome so I thought I'd copy that from the box art that and all our parts assembled you can see here that we now have our completed bark ship from the blood and plunder tabletop game and you can see what relatively uh, simple paint scheme we're able to get uh, a lot of detail a lot of effectiveness I really like these ships they're very very cool um, I'm definitely going to be probably painting up a few more in the future because um, I think they're awesome ships um, they're going to be great for uh, d d or a sort of any tabletop game you play, uh, play with when you might need a ship encounter um, and just having these there is really cool and they're very very detailed so that they look uh, super nice on the table and these cool encounters and stuff uh, one thing though with the, the, these miniatures here is they don't actually come with uh, sails all, all the rigging and stuff and that all comes with them but they don't come with the sails so for the sails uh, I use some um, because uh, I wasn't able to find uh, a cloth I was looking for and sort of the style of a ship's uh, sail uh, I actually used some uh, white uh, EVA foam and just glued some beads to it so you can see the little uh, metal bits on there it's, they're just little beads on there because I wanted them removable so I could take this down and I thought it would give off a cool effect but you may just want to use a cool bit of cloth I just wasn't able to find any um, so that's what I did there for the sales. So just be aware of that if you buy these miniatures. They don't come with sales. But with that, that is our miniature completed of our bark ship.
from uh, Blood and Plunder. So I hope you found this video useful. If you want to paint it up yourself or you just want to watch me paint up some cool miniatures. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please just consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.